We had a, uh, some of our audience tweet you some questions, okay? They, they tweeted us at uh, MTV Rap Fix, and I'm going to ask you a couple of these questions courtesy of the audience. Uh, this, okay. one, this one says, um, it's from McCullough V3. What's been the best part of 2010 for you? 2010. That was last year, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what day it is. Um, <laughs> best part, probably when I uh, first... One of the greatest moments was when I first heard Eminem's verses on Love the Way You Lie. I was in a car and I wasn't even sure that the song was necessarily happening or what the deal was. And then I finally heard it and I screamed because I was so excited. <laughs> it, was a, it was like a turning point in my life and in my career, too. Wow. I could imagine because I know, we, you know, I read that when you write you know, these songs, you know, and when you write with particular artists, you actually do your research and you look back at their career and try to find a, a, a connection through the lyrics. Did you feel like that was the ultimate connection from the verses that he wrote to that hook? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, congratulations, okay? I'm gonna give you the next question. This one is from Charlene Conrad. Are you releasing an album anytime soon? Yes, I'm working on it every day. Okay. Probably, um, you'll hear a single before you'll hear uh, when the album is coming out, but sooner than later. Okay, and you're doing this, is the entire album being produced by Alex the Kid? So far. Mm-hmm, well, uh, and do you feel any pressure now? You got the, you know, before, I mean, you've been out for a while, for a couple of years, but people are really taking super notice to you right now. Do you feel any pressure in terms yeah. of, <laughs> what does it feel like? What do, you, what do you, what do you, what's going on through your mind? What's racing in your mind? Well, we've had, a lot of success with these songs so far and um that is just more pressure it's great but it's also more pressure for us to continue to do good work and i i'm very hard on myself and i stress myself out about it but it's all fun so okay and then finally you know you had a chance to work with two of the biggest artists in this past generation, what did you walk away with from that experience after working with Eminem and Dre in the studio and being there personally with them and hearing their conversation and their stories? It was just a crazy, wonderful experience. Um, you know, unique. I don't think that many people get to do what I did and I feel very blessed. Um, and I'll never forget when I first heard M's verses on the doctor, I need a doctor song. And I started bawling my eyes out in the studio because I could just see all this passion and um, real authentic feeling going into this mm -hmm. at tour that he was, you know, speaking to Dr. Dre. And it, I just, I couldn't help my emotions. I just lost it. And that was just an amazing moment. Wow. Well, you wrote a uh, you part of writing a, 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 an amazing song, Skylar Gray. We look forward to hearing your new music. And please, when that happens, allow me to come in the studio and talk with you again. OK, absolutely. Please. Let's do that. OK, congratulations on I Need a Doctor uh, and have Thanks. fun in L.A. Stay out the sunshine. OK, I'll try okay. to stay away from it.